I am a traditionally published author, and today I'm going to give you the special magic secret formula for writing a successful query letter. Obviously, you need a amazing magical book to go with it. But this is the query letter formula that eventually uh, led me to four offers of agent representation and four agent phone calls in one week. So here we go. So the key to a successful query letter in all aspects is concision and neatness and tightness. A query letter is not where you want to do your flashbang pop spectacular show. That save for your manuscript pages. In the query letter, it's nice and tight and it can essentially be broken down into three sections. The first section of your query letter is obviously the introduction. All you need in your introductory paragraph is first of all, you're addressing the agent by name with the correct spelling. Obviously that should go without saying. And then in your query, in your introduction, all you need is your name, the title of your book, its word count, genre, and age category. So essentially something like Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm seeking representation for my 42,000 word middle grade contemporary What Stars Are Made Of. That was my query letter essentially. Uh, so you just need that and then one specific sentence to that agent saying why you decided to query them specifically. That they maybe they represent an author whose books are similar to yours or you saw on their manuscript witch list that they're looking for something similar to what you are writing. The second section of your query letter is, I think, the part that intimidates most people because it's the summary of the book that you have poured your heart and soul into. But for the purposes of a query letter, it can be essentially boiled down to answering four questions. Who is your main character? What do they want? What's stopping them from getting that thing? And what will happen if they don't get it? All you have to do is answer those four questions and you've got a really snappy, clear, concise pitch. The third and final section of your query letter is where you will give just a little bit more information about yourself. And by that, I really just mean two things. A, publishing credits, if you have any, that can be short stories in magazines, if you've written in your local newspaper or anything like that. And B, any highly relevant information to your story. So for example, if you are writing about an astronaut and you have been to space, definitely include that. Or if you're writing about a zookeeper and you're a zookeeper, write about that. For me, I was writing about a girl with a genetic disorder that is a genetic disorder that I was born with. So I included that information. And there, putting that all together, you have your nice, clean, tight query letter. And I wish you well. Happy querying.